Hey, welcome. Good morning, evening or afternoon. Today I want to talk about the three must do steps to build muscle. So number one is tear your muscles, okay? Number two, whoa, what was that? My voice kind of cracked. Number two is eat enough calories, right? Hey, welcome. Welcome to this live. Thank you for your support. Number three is be consistent at the gym. Be consistent so you actually start seeing results. Because if you go one day, one week, it's not going to do anything. You need to go for months, weeks, to actually reap some rewards. Here's a bonus tip. Now I'm gonna go over this. I'm gonna give you the bonus at the end, okay? I don't wanna overflow you all this information. Um, number one, tear your muscles. How does that look like, right? Tearing your muscles looks like lifting really heavy and keeping the form. So how many reps is heavy, right? Heavy is from four reps to eight reps. Like you could barely lift up the last rep that you're doing. Will have to be your your last one. Like the the last rep that you do should be the should be hard. You should, could not lift another one. If you could lift another rep, that means it's not heavy enough. So when you're tearing the muscle, you want to make sure you're you're like almost about to drop the weight at the last rep. Say you're hitting six reps. And at the at the at the sixth sixth rep, it's gonna be like super heavy. You can barely get it up. You can barely get it up. And then when you're done, when you're done at the sixth rep, you can't do seven. You can't do seven. It's just too much. So you you re rack it. Okay, that's how heavy it should be. And, and consequently, you will tear your muscles. Your muscle will be tore because all the muscle fibers that you use to lift that weight up. And how challenging it was, your muscles got tore, okay? So, that's how you tear your muscles. So, so, so an easy formula is lifting heavy means low reps, okay? Now, here's another tip, another top secret thing that you want to do is at your last reps, after you maxed out, say I maxed out on the bench press or shoulder press, now... I want to do high reps to tear more muscle fibers with other exercises. And those high reps are going to be like maybe 15 to 20 reps, maybe, maybe depending on how, what you want. You can do 12 as well, but they have to be high. 12 to 20 is a good rule of thumb between there. And you saturate the muscles. That's what I call a saturation part. You're just filling up the muscles, challenging yourself, and it's going to give you results, okay? There's different exercises you want to use for those, you know, for the saturation. If you're interested, you can send me a DM. I'll give you a workout plan. I'll give you those exercises that are good for after your max out. Uh, max out exercises are good. Uh, are compound exercises, okay? The compound exercises. Because it, they tear the most muscle, like bench press, squat, deadlift, shoulder press. You could even use dumbbells, barbells to do certain exercises. They just... Target more muscles. That's why they're, they're good for your growth. Yeah, baby. Number two, you want to eat enough calories because if you're not eating enough calories, you're not rebuilding. If you're not rebuilding, you're getting smaller, actually, because you're tearing the muscles. And if you have nothing to rebuild it with, you're at a negative. So the way it works is that you tear the muscles. So now you're a little bit negative, right? But you eat enough calories that you rebuild it. You, you're at a surplus, so not only do your muscles heal, they get larger, okay? So that's why it's important to eat enough, because if you're not eating enough, you're not, that's not gonna happen. That muscle synthesis process is not gonna happen. You need high protein. I recommend one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Minimum. So that means you should be doing more. Say if I weigh 140 pounds, Minimum, I should eat 140, but because that's minimum, you want to go to 160 grams. Hey, welcome to this live. 
Thank you for your support, for watching. I'm talking about the three steps to building muscle. Must do steps. I'm on the third step. Let me know if you have any questions, I'll answer them. All right, so step number three is you want to be consistent. You really want to be consistent at the gym. You, you don't want to just go for not even one month. If you just go for one month and you, you stop going, you're not going to see results. You're not going to see results. You want to go minimum for three months, 90 days, because you want to reprogram your brain as well. A new habit is built in 66 days. So you want to do it minimum two months, because two months is 60, like 60 days. But let's not do minimums. So I, I changed what I, I retract my previous statement. I want you to do minimum three months. So that's minimum three months. So you make a new habit, right? Like a habit that I love that I made is self-improvement. I, I always want to be doing self-improvement. I always want to read. That's a new habit I've created. It just feel, I feel great when I do it. You know, I get smarter. I learn more. I learn more about diets. I learn more about business. I learn more about relationships. I know, learn more about um, spirituality, mindset, manifestation. Amazing. You know, see, I'm getting excited now. But yeah, that's a good habit for me. Now you want to do this for your fitness. I created this fitness habit, you know, just, just because uh, I just gave, I didn't give up. I mean, I said, um, I, did, I gave up on my old body. I'm like, I'm not doing this anymore. Forget you. I want a different um a different body different lifestyle but i was gaining too much weight i was 170 pounds and i was always around 100 the 130s but i was skinny now i'm 145 and i'm lean i'm still lean but i got these guns i got chest muscles i got back muscles i got shoulder muscles right um so yeah that's that's what i like and i'm happy for that i visualize my biceps i visualize them i even put a picture of arnold schwarzenegger on my wall and i was like i'm gonna get biceps like that and i kind of do now Just popping out visualize visualize hey what's up pierre i'm talking about the three steps you have to take to build muscle i'm on the third step which is being consistent you want to be at the gym more than 90 days more than three months so you make a new habit in your brain and you start seeing results Thank you for your support, Pierre Rodriguez. So yeah, how how long, how often should you work out at the gym to build muscle? I recommend four to six, right? Depending on how intense you're working out, maybe just four is fine. Four, four days could be fine because if you tear a lot of your muscles, you're gonna be really sore. So you need to recover. You want to recover adequately. I have two days of rest every week, but those days they're active rest days. I do cardio. I go on the stairmaster or I do the row machine a little bit, only for like fifteen rounds, ten to fifteen rounds of hit cardio. But I'm not, I'm not um, lifting. I'm not lifting, you know. So I'm not tearing the muscle. So they're they're going to recover. My stance on intermittent fasting. Hey, that's good. If it works for you, that's good. That's really good. Yeah, because in the end, it's all. Um, cal caloric intake. If you go under your caloric intake, you're going to lose weight. You're going to stay lean. So um, if it works for you and you can do it that way, that's good. But I recommend you do something that's sustainable for you. Like me, I like most of my life, I've always had a good breakfast, right? I've always had a big breakfast and my mom, she always made us, she always, she always made us breakfast. And so I eat. And so every morning, if you watch me on Instagram, I have the same breakfast, I have eggs, oatmeal, dates, and a little bit of almonds. And that's it. Um, yeah, and that works for me. And so I have lunch as well. I only have carb, no, I don't have carbs for lunch. I have um, pollock or salmon with lettuce and a little bit of almonds. And you know, I cook it with a little bit of butter and it fills me up and it's really, really, really filling for me and I don't get drowsy. So that works for me. And then I have like two more meals after that, you know, dinner and maybe a snack. And I keep it the same, keep it the same. And that works for me. And I could, I could just take off or add more carbs to that. And then I gain weight to build muscle or I could get leaner. And that works for me. But for you, if it works for inter if intermittent fasting works for you, and you start getting lean and, and you could do it, 
Like, by all means, do it. Yeah. But always have your protein up. Make sure you're getting enough protein. Have lean meat, um, because if you get too much fat in there, it's just you're, you're going to boost up your calories. You're not even getting, you're, you're not going to get protein in there. So you want to make sure you get lean protein, like salmon, pollock, um, the asada, the beef, the flat, flat, flat meat. It's thin and doesn't have that much fat. It's good. So yeah, we had we had Pierre Rodriguez right here who um, asked us a question about nutrition, and that was a good question. Intermittent fasting, as long as you you stay lean, you're healthy, you feel good, you're building that quality muscle. It's it's great. It's a great way to go, to go about it. There is no right or wrong way. Everybody's different. Some people like more fats. Some people like more carbs. You you have to figure it out. You have to find out. You know, and as a coach. That's one of the the nice challenges, you know. You find out what what your what your client likes. That's what I do for my uh, my co my clients. Now here's a bonus tip. And that is have adequate rest. So that means have one to two days off mandatory so you recover okay i'm gonna say that again have one to two days off mandatory so you recover and rebuild muscles i'm gonna say that again take one to two days off mandatory so you recover and rebuild muscles Okay. Going to the gym six times a week is a little too much because uh, you want to have a few days off. But if you do have, if you, if you just have so much energy and you are going six hours, you are going to, to the gym six times a week, I recommend eating a high calorie surplus, okay? High calories. That way you're in abundance of calories and you're rebuilding well. You're not at a deficit one of those days. So if you do work out six days a week, to build muscle and you lift your lifting weights, make sure you eat a lot. Make sure you eat a lot. Make sure you're certain that you have a caloric surplus. Okay. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Those are my three steps with the bonus, the bonus, <laughs> bonus, with the bonus step, you know, which is recover, have adequate rest. Okay. When I started lifting, I didn't know how to lift. I don't know what to do. I remember I was just like, like, well, what do I, what did I do? Like, I was just going to the gym just to lift weights, and I was going seven times, seven times a week, and I was just lifting weights. I was like, I hope this is gonna give me muscles, you know? Like, I, it wasn't even that I wasn't even lifting heavy. I was probably doing like twenty reps each exercise, twenty reps, twenty reps. <laughs> I heard, I, I heard it was high reps that um, that gave you muscles. It, it's true. That's one way to get hypertrophy, to, to build muscle and tear your muscle fibers, high reps is one way. But the best way I believe, and research shows this, is lifting heavy weight. Hey, welcome to my live. Thank you for your support. Yeah, so I would get sick as well. I would get sick from going to the gym seven days a week because my immune system went down. When you work out a lot, um, your immune system goes down. That's why you need to have enough food. Glutamine is a good supplement to take uh, right after your workout and before you go to sleep to boost up your immune system and not get sick. So glutamine is a good one. You might, you, you, you might want to write that down. You might want to write that down. <laughs> no, no, definitely write it down. Okay, write that down. Take glutamine. Take uh, up to 10 grams if you like. I take five. I take five grams. Okay. And it's okay, you know, if you don't know everything right now, that's why you're here. That's why I'm here to give you this, this information, okay? I know it's going to help you. I'm, I guarantee you it's going to give you results. You follow what I tell you. <sighs> yeah, because you're, you're, you're planting the right, the right seeds. You're doing the right work, okay? Because if you're planting the wrong seeds, you want apples, you're going to grow, and, and then you get pear. Pear seeds, you're gonna build pears and like you didn't want pears, you wanted apples. 
So if you want muscles, apply this, you know? You just wanna go into the gym and like move some stuff around, maybe not, you just wanna do some weight but not build muscle, yeah, and don't do this. <laughs> don't follow what I'm saying, you know? But if you do wanna lose weight and build muscle, look lean, then follow what I'm saying, okay? All right, and if you're interested in a workout plan or my new virtual virtual training program, send me a DM, send me an email. Um, Hi, team. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, I'm at the library right now. I'm in a study room. Thank you. So I'm in a study room right now, and I did, did not know that they had announcement speakers in the study room. But well, they do, so I apologize for that if um, it came out of nowhere. Okay, so yeah, if you're interested, send me a DM, send me an email at martinezjuarezmiguel at gmail.com. That's martinezjuarezmiguel at gmail.com. That is martinezjuarezmiguel at gmail.com. Or you can reach out, just type in the Miguel Martinez Juarez in Google, I pop up. I'm the, I am actually the Miguel Martinez Juarez. I, I checked, <laughs> I typed in my name and that pop up. So you can check it out. Um, the Miguel Martinez Juarez, or just type Miguel Martinez Juarez in Google. I will pop up, send me a DM, reach out to me. I can help you out with the workout plan or a virtual training program or in, in like a one-on-one -on -one coaching program, which is an online personalized program. Just reach out to me. I'll help you get your results. Hope you get muscle, some weight. Yeah. All right. Hope this helps apply these steps. Have a great day. Bye.